Hi everybody, uh, it's Crystal. So I hope everybody is doing well today and staying safe. So I thought I would show you a little bit of yarn I got. Haven't done a yarn show and video in a while. Kind of been working on tutorials. So I hope you've been catching all those. Remember, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you haven't, if you are subscribed and you haven't been getting the t my uh, notifications on my uh, new tutorials and videos I've been putting on make sure you have your notifications set up to receive all notifications because if you just have it set up to where it says personalize YouTube's just gonna pick and choose what they want to send you so you won't get it very many so let's begin one two so I bought a little bit of yarn from my favorite yarn store that's a, online available in the United States and that is Little Knits um, I got a little bit and I'll show you what I got. Um, let's see if the invoice is got prices. It does, it does. All right, let's start out with I got some Cascade Ultra Pima Cotton. Now, I love Pima Cotton. And I like the Cascade to alter Pima Cotton. I have a beautiful shawl tutorial on my channel made out of it. Um, it's a very, very nice yarn. But do I, hey, hey stop, I'm gonna stop right now. I don't have a tutorial for this sweater. It is store-bought. But I do have a tutorial for this hat. It is called my Chocolate Bonbon Beanie. You will find that on my channel. Anyways, so back to the yarn. Oh, let's begin. So this is Cascades Ultra Pima. You might have heard me talk about it before because I really do like it. I think it's a nice yarn. And so 100% Pima cotton. Um, so there you can see it. It's a very, very pretty color. Um, there are 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, 220 yards or 200 meters. It's made in Peru and this is a medium. No, no, no. I'm sorry. This is a DK weight yarn, which is a light weight three. So, um, you can look at the weight on it there. Generally, don't buy too many lightweight threes, but I do like their uh, Alter Pima, and it's not too bad of a lightweight three. You can see it right there. So, initially, I ordered <laughs> four of these, th this color right here, which is called a Marigold. Well, they messaged me and told me they only had one available that I could they could give my money back or I could switch colors because they had so many colors that you could choose from um and I said I, I could just you could just we could just substitute it for another color that would be fine so because 220 yards I can still get something nice out of that uh you know something smaller but still something nice because it's a very nice yarn now the ultra pima on little knits runs 735 a hank and it is not a bad price for Cascade Ultra Pima. So the other color that I substituted for was this beautiful, beautiful navy blue color here. Um, Sahara, I think that's what it's called. Something like that. But isn't that pretty too? I thought that was beautiful. I don't know what I'll make with it. Uh, more than likely, I will keep the Pima cotton. I got enough there of this navy to make Evelyn a dress. I have a baby um toddler sailor dress if you guys have not seen that it's adorbs i could actually upgrade it to make the one in evelyn's size now she wears a six so i don't have enough yardage i'd have to get more <laughs> i could do that though but this is beautiful so i did get that and like i said 735 a hank which is not bad for it being um Ultra Pima, Cascade Ultra Pima. Next up is called Emano Puna. I love the Puna yarn. The Puna yarn is absolutely gorgeous. It's the softest yarn. So one of the softest yarns I felt in a very, very, very long time. And maybe you've seen me open it before. They don't have a lot of this left on their site, but it is 100% Baby Alka Paca. It smells so clean. It feels so clean. I have given away all my Puna that I bought, <laughs> all of it, and, but, and I never got to make anything out of it. So I bought this, they were $11 a hank, which is probably half the price that they originally are. It's worth every single penny of that $11 for the, just for the softness factor and the small clean factor. <laughs> but uh, also, um, baby alpaca or alpaca in general is uh, hyperallergenic in case you are allergic to wool. Um, this is made in Peru. 
It's a mono Puna yarn. Mono is the brand. Puna is the type. It's so, so soft. You would not regret it if you got this yarn. Um, there's 100 grams and there's 250 meters or 273 yards. The color is 4007. And it is a lightweight three. That's okay. I can handle it because of the soft factor on it. So I did get, let's see, 273 yards. I got three of them. So that'll be enough for me to make what I want to make with it. It's so pretty. I like the color. You see the mix of colors in there? It's very spring looking. So that's probably what I'll save it for. Uh, it doesn't have to be saved for that. It's so soft. You can save it, use it for anything. But it being a baby alpaca, it's also very lightweight. And like I said, hypoallergenic. Very nice. I can't get over the feel of the Puna. The Puna. It feels so good. The Puna. I love it. Mm. All right, I'll move on. I'll keep that out, though, so I can feel it for later. <laughs> Let's move. This is, what's this stuff? Um, Kensington by Haiku. I do think maybe I've had this before. Again, this is something that I, <laughs> I buy yarns with the intention of uh, making something out of them. And then I give them away or I put them in mystery boxes and then I just don't get to use them. So, um, this is the Kensington by Haiku. Now, I bought an entire five pack. Sometimes they, uh, uh, little news, they sell it by the five pack. And sometimes they sell it by the, the single. So, the, the entire five pack was $43. That was for five skeins of the Kensington Haiku. Um, this is 60% New Zealand Merino. 25% nylon, 10% alpaca, and 5% silk. Designed in Seattle, Washington, made in New Zealand. Nice. So it, it feels good. Not as soft as a puna, of course, but it's still very nice. It's chain spun yarn. So if you look at it close, you can see that it is a chain spun, which means it's not applied. It's not a roving, it's spun in little chain formations there, which makes it a lighter weight yarn. And it has, this one has, it's blue with little yellow speckles in it. I thought it was so pretty. It smells so clean, so fresh and so clean. Color is, that's the color number, oh, uh, 1024. So like I said, I got 11. Oh, the weight too, yeah, I keep forgetting. It looks to be about a a very thick four or uh, possibly a, probably like a bulky five. You could classify that as either, but I got 200 and, or 208 yards per hank. There's your weight right there. You know, it's kind of the weight of scarfy yarn if you've ever seen that, uh, but it is chain spun. But five of those, that's a good deal really. Uh, for $43, so that's less than $10 a hank. What is that? Uh, about it's a little over eight dollars a hank for 208 yards of a bulk. I consider it a bulky five chain spun, very nice fiber content. In the I'll show you with the tags the other way, very nice fiber content in those. So that would be enough to make something gorgeous. That's pretty, hmm, would have been a pretty sweater if I would have got another five pack, but that's okay. I might have enough to make another, uh, I might have enough to make a pullover or something. If I just play my cards right, well, play my stitches right. Can't use stitches that are too, too, uh, you know, consuming of the yarn. You have to use uh, basic ones. So this is another one that, that I really, really love. This is Cascade Luminesso. I love the Luminesso. It's such a, such a pretty, pretty yarn. So the uh, Cascade Luminesso ran, it runs 945 a hank, which again is probably half the price of what it originally was. And it is very, very soft as well. The color of this one is called a Ruby. I did get three of these because it's, um, it's so soft. I thought I would make something smaller to go around the neck, maybe an infinity scarf or something. It's 52 viscose, 44 baby alpaca, and 4% merino wool. That baby alpaca is what is making it so soft. And again, this one is chain spun as well. And it's shiny, beautiful. It's four weight yarn. You see, it's got little black fuzzies hanging off of it, and you can see the chain spun in the in the shiny red there. 
Very nice. I love the Luminesso a lot. It's very pretty. Ooh, that red is beautiful. Yeah, I think an infinity scarf with this one. That's a yardage on this. 100 grams, 240 yards. That's a nice amount of made in Peru. That's a nice amount of yardage considering I would classify it as a four weight myself. You guys can be your judgment on that, but I think that's a good four. Anyways, that's a lot of yardage. That would make, I could make an infinity scarf for some yarning and stitches with this if I wanted to. Probably won't, but I might throw a couple in there. I do like bobbles and stuff, so. <laughs> you know how they like the yarn. They eat it up. They like it just like me. Oh, them old bobbles. It's beautiful. So that, that's the ruby, and I did get it in another color, which is, oh my gosh, it's to die for as well, the color. This one is called Amethyst. Look at that. I mean, that isn't some pretty stuff. I get to get five of the Amethyst, because I wanted to make something a little bigger with this one. Normally, I would, probably would have chosen the red to make something bigger with, but I don't know. It's purple, purple. It was calling my name. It's like, make something big with me. And I will. I will make something big with you. Hmm. You can let me know in the comments what you think I should make with this. I got enough to make pretty much, not a blanket. I don't want to make a blanket, but you know, anything else I could want to make, I probably have enough to do it. I wouldn't wait. I would make a blanket with this. This is not a yarn that I would waste on a blanket. Not that I'm wasting it when I make a blanket. It's just more of a show-off yarn that you want to make something very special with. So, oh, that's pretty. Gosh, that's pretty. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 9.45 a hank. Um, yes, and I, that, that's a deal, I think. Considering what they are at a regular, I'm sure, like I said, I'm certain it's probably close to double that. Beautiful, beautiful. They have such pretty colors in the Luminesso. I have a beautiful brown here too as well. Oh, it's my favorite color that they have. I haven't even brought myself to use it yet because what's this? Okay, I've never had this before, but as soon as I saw pure alpaca, I had to get it because alpaca is so, so soft. And again, like I said, hypoallergenic. So this is Cascades yarn, pure alpaca, 100% baby alpaca. I've never had it before. It's $9.99 a hank, which I'm certain is Usually when you do little knits, it's pretty close to half the price of retail, maybe sometimes quarter the price, but you usually you get a good deal on, on it. Um, okay, the color I have is called Brambleberry. Brambleberry. It's purple. I even got more purple after this. That is beautiful. Wow. And it's soft, just like the, just like the, the Puna. Oh, they're both just as love them both i only got two of these though um so i guess i wasn't uh expecting to make anything big with it but 9.99 9.99 a hank for 100 percent baby alpaca all day long i'd buy it worth every penny 100 grams 3.5 ounces 220 yards made in peru so let's classify this as a four thick three thin four i'm going with the four <laughs> makes me feel better <laughs> that is some nice stuff i don't i don't know why i only got two i might have to go back and check them out again because like i said i love the the uh amano puna puna yarn this is just as soft and buttery oh my gosh and the color is so pretty look at that it's like a heathered purple and the name is so cute brambleberry that is adorbs. That is adorbs. I love that stuff. I'm going back. No, I'm not going to go back. I'm just kidding. That's plenty for me to make something again for around the neck uh, because it's so soft. Okay, I got more purple again. Oh, this is some more Ultra Pima cotton, which I told you about in the beginning. I got that orange and then I got the blue and I guess I got it in this beautiful purple. That is beautiful. Call, what's it called the name of this one? I don't know. Well. Oh, this one is called Sierra. 
Not the blue one. That's pretty. This, I got four of these. This will make Evelyn a gorgeous dress. And this is probably not pretty dang close enough to make her a dress out of it. Oh, she looks so pretty in it, too. Yeah, I might do that. Cotton's nice. Save it, though, here for the spring, probably, since it's uh, winter here. Uh, I'm almost done here. I got just a couple more, some Mal Malabrego. Oh, man, I love Malabrego a lot. It's a little bit pricey. I don't buy it all the time because it's pricey, but once in a while, Little Knits has it on sale. And even when it's on sale, it's still a little pricey, but... I did make this hat out of Malabrigo Rio, Rios. It is gorgeous, gorgeous yarn. I have a tutorial for this too. If you want to check it out, it's made with thermal stitch. It's very, very easy, even if you're a beginner. But that is some pretty, pretty yarn. The Malabrigo, this is the Malabrigo Rios. They have different varieties of it. Oh gosh, it's pretty. It's pretty. The dye job on these are so beautiful. They're hand dyed. Anyways, I'll show you the colors I got on this. So the Malabrigo Rios, one of a kind. Okay, so I got one of a kinds. Um, usually on the one of a kinds means what it says. There's only <laughs> one, one of a kind. It says one, but sometimes they'll have like two, maybe in, or two. Of a, it'd be one of a kind, but they'll might 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 have two available. So it's kind of like a, you know, something like that. Okay, so this one is called um, the one of a kinds. I don't really know how they come up with that. I don't know if it's like ones that didn't turn out the way they wanted them to, but they're still gorgeous. Or maybe, uh, that I don't know. That's probably what it is. I, or maybe they just, I can't really see them just dying just one. You know, I don't know. I don't even know that much about it. But I tell you that this is called <laughs> Malabrigo Real. It's one of a kind. And this one is called Jungle Leaves. Um, so, uh, this, these are 1540. So like I said, even on sale, they're still a little bit expensive. It probably was maybe originally around $20 a hank if I had to guess. But anyways, the Rios is gorgeous. There's the name, Jungle. Uh, what did I say? Single lot. Jungle Leaves. That is pretty. Ah, uh, see, you can make a hat out of one of these Rios. So that's why I don't care if it's just one of a kind because it's enough here for me to make a hat. Um, it's a worsted weight, so it's a medium weight number four, 210 yards, 100% super wash merino, and it is hand dyed. It's a very, very beautiful yarn. So yes. I love it a lot. Like I said, I don't buy it often because it is a little bit pricey, but sometimes um, Little Nits has them on sale, and I'll, I'll pick them up then. Got that. And then this one is called uh, Malabrego Reels Glitter. Now, there's no glitter in it, but it is. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. That is so bag o' day crochet it isn't even funny i want to make a hat right now i want to just stop the video and crochet a hat with it because i like to wear hats and this color is beautiful this is my favorite yarn in the bunch and there are some pretty yarns here but this one has beat them all it isn't even the it is it, none of it can even stand a chance to this one even the puna even the baby alpaca the color on this one is absolutely gorgeous oh wow yes i can i will be keeping this 100 percent and making myself a hat out of it yes oh, i love it glitter 048 is this a one of a kind this is not a one of a kind it's not i got two of them so you could possibly get them too because they're not a one of a kind it's just the name of them is glitter Oh, that is beautiful. And it smells like Malabrigo Rios. You know what I notice about Malabrigo's yarn when I smell it? It always has a smell. Not not unpleasant because it's hand dyed. Not well not all hand dyed smell like, but it has a smell of a little bit like vinegar to me. Like I don't know why. Nothing off putting. It just smells it's just the dyes they use, I guess. Always kinds of kinda of smells 
just a touch like vinegar like you can I don't know I doubt that's what's in it but it just kind of smells like that a bit like I said not that it's off-putting it's just smells like clean yarn with a hint of vinegar <laughs> I love it it's beautiful oh that's my favorite okay I have one more to show you um, and then I will be on my way I'm gonna handle so much of bag of day right okay so this is Malabrego's um, Rio one of a kind in a bag so they had um, one, one of a kinds in a three pack but each one was different but they kind of matched with the other so they were one of a kind yarns I think it's more like I said you guys can correct me in the comments on what a one of a kind is when it comes to like Rio's and Madeline Tosh I know they have one, one of a kinds and stuff I think it might be ones that just didn't turn out like they wanted them to so they just have like one or two of them but um, they have three packs of these one of a kinds I got bag number 15 and they were $45, which is just, it's the same as three uh, regular Rios. Uh, but they're different, but they go together. As you can see, I'll show you what they are. Single lot. Um, and there is no name. It just said bag number 15. Ooh, they do all go together. Those are very pretty, but I'm going to tell you, I'm partial to that one in the middle. <laughs> all these Rios have the same specs as that very first blue one that I showed you so yeah you could work these all together um more than likely they will all yeah they will all mesh well together these two on the end look a little similar but not quite but kind of and they got them with that brown <sighs> I love Rios a lot okay that's all I have to show you this this teal one is so gorgeous too. Mm. Okay, so that was the the pack. Like I said, mine was single. Their single lot, one of a kind pack, fifteen. That's what it was called on um, <laughs> on their website. So I got these Rios, the blue Rios, and these, which I'm gonna keep out. Actually, I'm gonna roll these, roll one of them up in a ball, in a cake. I'm gonna cake it up and take it to my other house. And make a hat with it because I can't just not make something with it this is my favorite so out of all the yarns that I got today this one beats them all like by a thousand percent it's probably the fact that it's a Rios or the fact that it's a Malabrego and mostly it's the color now that's not gonna be be everybody's fancy on the color but man is it ever mine that is a gorgeous gorgeous yarn could possibly be the name playing in it too the litter all that glitters is not gold. This is though. That is beautiful. Okay. That's it. I do like my Pimas. Very, very pretty. Very good deal on those they had. And this this uh, Cascades 100% um, Baby Alpaca. Very, very nice. Highly recommend this. If you get this, you will not be disappointed. Especially in that softness factor. Or the Puna. They're both a very, very nice. They feel very similar. Almost identical. And softness so squishy so beautiful so those you would not you wouldn't be disappointed in any of these arms I showed you today I guarantee you wouldn't be disappointed you would definitely wouldn't be disappointed in these luminescos either oh who would be those are beautiful okay that's it and the Pimas are oh, in the Kensington very beautiful too as well okay so what I want you to tell me in the comments is what do I do with this purple luminesso? What should I make with this? I have enough to make something big, but I'm not going to make a blanket. You tell me what you'd like, you think this yarn would look good as. I think I know, but I want to hear your thoughts. Thanks everybody for watching. You now I enjoy talking yarn with you. I'll see you on my next video, okay? Make sure the notifications turn on so you get my next tutorial. I'll see you it'll be on um, tomorrow. Bye guys. Love you all. Stay safe. Thanks for watching.